comes to businesses in Malta, one of the main infrastructures that government uses to aid business development is Malta Enterprise. Something that is in its name itself. Malta, relation to Malta and Enterprise relating to the innovation enhancement that this entity assists in. The main assist assistance that is used um, on a regular basis is the tool called Microinvest. What is this Microinvest? Basically, um, remember a microscope when you zoom in on something and investment. So when Microinvest, the mechanism basically, it takes small investments and through this mechanism of Microinvest, it allows the entity, the company, the individual, basically as long as you have a VAT number and you undergo an economic activity, you can apply for Microinvest to obtain tax credits. So, what are tax credits? Rather than explain what tax credits are, it's even simpler for you to understand, as I'm sure you all know, that each individual, when they earn income, and out of that income, profit arises, tax needs to be paid to the government. Now, tax credits are sort of discount coupons against the tax burden you have to pay. How does this work? Basically, through this mechanism of microinvest, an individual is entitled to 45% um, rebate, so uh, an inward benefit to yourself as the individual undergoing the economic activity for capital investment you would have undertaken to increase, to innovate your, your entity. That's why it's called microinvest, because you're investing on a micro level to yourself. And what are these basic investments? Basically, there are a couple of main ones, mainly being capital expenditure. So if you did expenditure on buying new laptops, new equipment, even a new car, but the new car needs to be commercial and needs to be first registered in your name. That's an important point to remember. Infrastructure, building, and also increase of wages of your employees. Basically, you, you submit documentation proving that you had an increase in this investment, the authority will assess it and give you back 45% of it. So, if you have expenditure of 100 euros, government will give you back through microinvest 45 euros to be deducted from your tax charge. What are important points to remember, however? An important point is that you can never end up with a refund. So it cannot be that your tax is 35 euros, you have a tax credit of 45 and the government gives you back 10 euros. No, in that case, you have to use only 35 and the other 10 would be carried forward to the next year. Also, things to keep in mind are that the entity being microinvest, so it's focused on small and medium-sized entities, cannot employ more than 30 individuals and cannot have a balance sheet total of more than 10 million. Also, another factor to remember is that if you're Maltese, the entity is entitled to a maximum of 50,000. However, if you are Godzidin or it is a family owned business or a female run entity, female owned business, then there is a further extension from 50,000 to 70,000. 